Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Welcome back. It's 17 till the hour. Thank you very much. Bring it out with me. That's Carlos Santana bringing this back. I'm Jim Blasting Game, and my website is smallbusinessadvocate.com. Please check it out when you get a chance. Use it to your advantage. We've got a lot of stuff there that will help you. You can read, you can listen, you can watch uh, to your little heart's content there at smallbusinessadvocate.com. Most things are there. You can, you can do all of that in, in anywhere from five seconds to, to six minutes. And uh, most of it's in in three minutes or less. So check it out, smallbusinessadvocate.com. Dr. Robert McTeer. Bob McTeer is our guest, folks. He's the former president of the Dallas Fed, former member of the Federal Open Market Committee, currently a distinguished fellow with the National Center for Policy Analysis, ncpa.org. Uh, Bob, thanks again for hanging out with us. Thanks for the great explanation of what uh, of the Fed's current monetary policy in the last segment. The uh, the, it was. I thought it was interesting that you you made a couple you made a couple of uh, points in a row there in the in one sentence in the previous segment. You said you thought that the that the that the the QE the the, the monetary policy of the Fed is buoying buoying the, uh, uh, the the stock market, but it should be affecting the entire economy. But we're seeing that uh, consumers aren't spending money, companies aren't buying capital investments, the economy is just rocking along, basically languishing at, at I should say, at about two percent. Typically, what drives stock prices, if in a in a in a in a in the way it ought to be, is earnings. So if you have an economy that's not driving earnings, but the stock market is at a record level, Bob, that doesn't sound like a healthy scenario to me. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I didn't mean to imply that the Fed was the only factor behind the uh, stock market success. Right? No, but I, did, I, I didn't. You, you, but yeah. you, but you did. What you said was accurate. Yeah. Uh, another point I need to make, though, is that a lot of U.S. corporations get their earnings abroad. Right. Sixty percent of the U.S. economy is uh, is is hurting them. But it's partially offset by stronger economies elsewhere. Well, but so, Bob, but Bob, global, the global economy is not doing all that great either. No, but until recently, a lot of the earnings were coming from abroad. The global economy is slowing down. Right. Uh, Brazil, uh, China, so so forth. Right. Well, the thing that I'm concerned about, Bob, and the reason I bring this up, and I, I know I, I I've been harping on this now for about three or about at least three years. And I'm not going to I'm not going to quit harping on it because I believe it's cr- correct, and that is that what the Fed is doing is disproportionately pumping up the the equity class assets, and 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 it is not helping Main Street where small business is, but when they take the punch ball away, and I I said M- Miller said that, but it was William McQuiston Martin I think you said, you corrected me in in the fifties who said the Fed. Gives you know has this party which is what they're doing right now with their QE, and one of the, but at some point in time they've got to take the punch bowl away. That means they're they'll start taking money out of the system. When that does, Bob, the stock market will come down quicker than it went up. It will create a, a big problem in the economy, and small businesses who were not who did not benefit from the run up will be hurt by the bad economy. That's why I'm against why I'm I'm concerned about what the Fed is doing right now. You might get a clue as to this this afternoon when they uh, when they make their announcement. I think it's almost certain they're not going to ease policy today, but their language in terms of uh, whether they might be tapering down QE in the next few months will will be what the markets are looking for. Will they say that today, or will that have to come out in the beige book? Uh, well. No, it won't be the beige book. It'll it'll be what they said today in Bernanke's news conference, plus the minutes of the last FOMC the minutes, meeting. At, right. at the last time, there, one of the problems was that what Bernanke was saying after the FOMC meeting didn't sound exactly like what the minutes reflected uh, of the meeting three weeks before. Uh-huh. 
that dissonance uh, there sort of mixed messages uh, has been weighing on the stock market ever since. Did, They're looking did, for more clarity today, and I right. think if, if he gives them clarity either way, it'll be better than this uh, guessing game that's been going on. But do you not do you agree with me that that we've got we've got uh, uh, we've we've got a situation where the the investment the investment industry is is not the same is it's, it's more than ever disconnected from the main street economy that wall street and main street are as, as are, are not as connected as are they're less connected than they ever were right now i agree with you that they're not as connected as they used to be i do not quite go as far as you do in saying main street has not been benefited because the Fed's policy has kept the U.S. economy growing about 2% a year in real terms, which is inadequate. But look at what Europe's doing. They're, right. they're shrinking. They're still shrinking. Our unemployment rate is 75 Theirs is over 12 So it has, it has helped. But the investor class will, is, is, is getting rich right now. Small business owners are not getting rich. Our profits are not going up compared to not and our, our small businesses are not excited about about their their situations right now. They're not hopeful about the future right now. They're very frightened about the future. And and but it's not like that on Wall Street. And when everything comes down, the the investor class will get out, take their money, and go to the south of France. Small businesses planted in the ground on Main Street. They can't go anywhere. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people in the investor class are doing well. A lot of them are losing a lot of money. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't want anybody to do badly. I'm not, and I'm yeah. not trying to create a, I'm not trying to create a conflict with any, I don't, with any two groups. I just, uh, I just think that, that the stock market is no longer a leading indicator of the of the economy. It's now merely a leading indicator of itself, and I think the Fed has contributed to that change. When we come back. We're going to talk about whether Bernanke is going to stay as the Fed chairman with Bob McTeer. Stay with me. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.